Although vacuum cleaners differ in appearance from model to model, they operate on similar principles. When the start switch is actuated, 120 volts of alternating current is sent to the motor, which drives the suction fan and the brush roll, if applicable. When the motor is running, an area of low pressure behind the fan creates the suction needed to draw air through the intake port. The air carries dirt, dust, and debris through a hose and into a porous bag or a canister before the clean air exits through the exhaust port. Vacuum cleaner bags must allow air, but not debris, to pass through to function properly. Bagless vacuum cleaner canisters use a particulate filter to allow air to travel through the system while trapping large particles of dirt and debris. Before the air is exhausted, it passes through a fine air, or HEPA filter, to clean it and prevent dust from recirculating back into the room. Keep in mind that intake ports can vary in size. As the size of the intake port decreases, the speed at which the air travels through the port increases. For this reason, vacuum cleaner attachments with small intake ports do a better job of picking up heavy debris than ones with large intake ports. When using the vacuum cleaner on a hard surface, such as wood or tile, the vacuum suction alone effectively draws the dirt and debris into the bag or canister. When vacuuming carpets and rugs, the brush roll will increase efficiency by dislodging the debris particles from the carpeting. The brush roll is usually driven by a belt that connects to the shaft on the drive motor. Some models allow the user to switch from hard floor care to carpet care by activating a lever that applies tension to the belt. If applicable, the vacuum cleaner will then engage or disengage the brush roll using a tension pulley. If the brush roll does not rotate, it's likely that the belt has broken or worn out and will need to be replaced. If the belt is intact, the brush roll or tension pulley may have seized and will require cleaning or replacement. The vacuum cleaner losing suction is often caused by a clogged hose. One of the more commonly overlooked objects that clog vacuum hoses are Christmas tree needles. The bag may also need to be changed, the canister emptied, or one or more filters may need to be replaced. Repair Clinic has a solution for many of the problems you may be experiencing with your vacuum cleaner. Enter the product's full model number in our website search engine for a complete list of compatible parts. Our site also has an extensive selection of instructional videos to assist you, covering topics like part testing, disassembly, and part replacement. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy.